everybody, buddy Greg here from Operation Rainfall, and welcome back to the second half of our PSVR video. Now, um, the lighting is a little dark in here, I apologize, it was either, I either have the one light that I use for my desk over there working, or if I turn this light up above me, you have nothing but a glowing halo. So I thought that was, uh, this is a little less distracting. But we're actually going to put on, we're going to actually put on the PSVR headset now and run through its setup, so we'll see how difficult this is. Connecting everything wasn't that bad. I need to do some re-cabling in this room anyway, so it'll be a good opportunity to do so. But for now, I just got to set up the um, processing is on top of the PS4. Probably not the best idea, but at least for this short test, it should work. Um, but everything kind of hooked up, everything seems good, so I'm going to put this on power down and see how it works. So, all right, I heard a beep. And I have video. It is saying... HDMI? Okay, he said HDMI was not working for a second. Alright. And now I need to begin setting up the PSVR. Okay, so looking, come up my head out from here. It looks like you guys are seeing the same thing I'm seeing. Hopefully the webcam video is not interfering too much, but uh, I'll try to run through this as much as I can. Alright, readjust this. Alright, before use, read health safety warnings, tell that a uh, headset's not for choose for children under the age of 12. So I was right about not being for kids. Um, alright. The surroundings for objects for use. I unfortunately have not done that, mainly because of the fact I don't have enough space in this to really walk around. But I figure for a standing demo, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, also, if it looks like I'm kind of cocking my head a little bit, that is because I actually am. Um, the... My PS camera does not want to sit on top of my Bravia TV all that well, so uh, a little lopsided, I think. I'll have to fix that later. Okay, so let's see here. Adjust position and angle of the camera so you are in the center, so that would require me to bend down, which is not going to work. Uh, hmm. This will take me a bit. Let me readjust to figure out what's going on. Just a second. Tighten this back up here. Okay, so I think I got the tilting angle sorted out. New controller. There we go. Alright. I think that's about as close as we're going to get to this being set up correctly. So, no, still feel like I'm lap signed slightly. Oh well. I'll figure it out later. The problem is, is just that for some reason, while I saw the stand, the cable on the back is really thick and my PlayStation sits over here. So it's kind of making the camera do this. So I feel like I'm kind of doing that myself. Uh, headphones are plugged in, and that actually is correct. If you noticed, I was kind of doing that during the during the thing. That is because if I actually do turn my head, I only hear the right side. I only hear the left side. So yeah, there actually is 3D audio. That's kind of interesting. Um. Okay, pull out the scope. Press and hold. Okay, scope is out. Okay, well the headset's already on. Okay, so you can actually adjust it through there, that's kind of good. Actually, I'm going to do this. First. I can't really lower the head there anymore. Tilt the dial, tighten. We already kind of did that. And you can do a little finagling with it, but I really, but the letters are clear and smooth for the most part. All right, VR is ready. So I actually, so now at this point I'm back in the menu, interesting. Um, right now what I see in front of me is basically a screen on a wall, uh, is the best way to explain it. So if I turn my head to the right, I basically, it's just like turning my head to the right or left. So I lose part, parts of it, and uh, sometimes I won't. But that's about it for that. Um, uh, this sadly does not have a VR mode. <laughs> I really wish it did too, because that would be really kind of cool if I played the game and I go, ha, ah, ha, ah, and I can see stuff on my side. That'd be awesome. Um, I really want to demo the VR room. 
Um. I know. Let's take a look at the settings real fast. See if there's anything. Because there are actual additional settings in here. If this is short, I might just tack it on to the other video. Oh yeah, might be short. Uh, let's see here. PSVR. So we can adjust the screen brightness for the PSVR. Seems like screen medium, large. Okay, that is uh, that is too large for my eyes. Let's go back to medium there. There, I can see the whole screen. Otherwise, what would happen is like it went out to like here, and I'm like, ah. Uh, here's this camera, just tracking lights. Um, okay, let's adjust the control real fast. Okay. I guess I can adjust the controller. I'm trying to do this without actually moving. That's the best part, okay. That's not gonna, gonna work right here, but the VR headset. Uh, yeah. Let's calibrate the tracking light real fast. Hold it in my hand. Okay, hold on a second. That means I have to take it off. <laughs> so, I have the tri have it in my hand. Okay, let's see here. You probably do not have to do this. But, why not? We can, we can see the difference. Feels like it's yeah, like I said, you can kind of see what I mean. Where it's like it's not. Right I don't know if that's my angle of holding it or if it's just it doesn't really want to. Oh, I think my finger was covering it. That was the problem. There we go. That's better. Okay. Um, show the front of the. Different tracking light set. Alright. Right side. Wow, there are a lot of steps to this thing. But you've got to find the right angle. I will say, my room is not really designed for this. It's too far. It's almost like a puzzle. It's kind of interesting in that aspect. Check out my arm. There we go. A little slightly different grip helped. Backside. This should be easy. Oh, that should be closer. Backside. All right. Left side. Other left side. I know my track. <laughs> different. Okay, let's take a look at distance between your eyes will be measured to optimize video. Well, considering this is the first setup, it's probably not a bad idea to actually do that, considering my eyes in particular are pretty bad when it comes to certain aspects. So, okay. Pull the scope out. Okay, first things first. Titan. Scope in. Controller. Controller. Controller hat. Okay. Okay. You will use the camera. Okay. I don't know if I can, ow, get closer to the camera.
Uh, no, because you actually cannot see my eyes, so that would explain that. Alright, hold on a second. Looks like I'm off slightly. I'm looking dead into it. Like I'm looking at the red dot. Yeah, that just seems kind of like weird. Like the left side is basically taking a different picture than the right side, even though I'm looking directly at the red light in the center. Okay. Looks like that's the center of that eye. Looks like that's the center of that eye. That looks to be there. That looks to be there. 62 millimeters. Okay. Okay, there we go. Update we need to do. Oh, there's version is installed. Hooray! That's about all we can honestly do is it until I pop in a couple games or whatnot. Um. I think that'll pretty much do it. Like, that explains the setup, whatnot, etc. Um, it's actually a pretty simple setup process, as you can see. So I'm not, so it's not that hard to calibrate whatnot. Probably go through the calibration process, though, especially if you're like me and you got some eye issues. That might help a little bit. Um, the light calibration, part of that is just because it's dark in here for the sake of the video, so it's a little bit harder for it to see, I'm pretty sure. So, well, I may probably have a better well lit room, um, etc. Um, the other thing is, in particular, like I said, the camera, at least mine, does not like to be sat on top of my TV. It's doing that weird thing, so I don't know what to quite do about that. Uh, normally, I would probably be sitting down anyway playing it, so it wouldn't be a big deal. Once I reduce some cabling, I can be uh, move a couple of things around and get a more street light connection. I think it's because the cable is doing this. It is basically pulling it and kind of making it tilt a little bit. Bit of a pain in the ass, but at the same time, what you can do. Anyway, that will do it for this particular unboxing. Well, not really unboxing. Uh, the second half of the unboxing the uh, setup. Uh, probably a little bit shorter. Whatever. I don't know what we're at right now. My computer's over there, so I can't tell the time code. But uh, that should give you an idea of how the PSVR sort of function works. Uh, I do apologize for the kind of scratchy audio last time. Um, the webcam mic is not my nice desk mic that I have, but if I have that actually there, um, trying to do this with that would be impossible. Uh, I did do a couple of adjustments, so hopefully it does sound a little bit better. We'll see. Uh, I don't know, I'm going to get a better webcam anyway, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for taking a look at it. Uh, I'll... No, I, I sadly cannot make any promises on VR content, and I was taking a, a big look at it mainly because of the fact my I do this stuff kind of when I have time for the site. Or my main thing is I am the visual novel manager, so I, unless there's a visual novel on PSVR, can't really do a lot about that. Um, but uh, we'll, I'll definitely be showing off the the VR stuff in uh, PDS because of the fact that I'm doing the playthrough of PDS, and. Um, I'll probably take a look at V2R stuff when I have the time, um, especially considering I have a Japanese copy of it sitting here. I just have not opened the dang thing. Uh, I haven't had time. It's just been I saw one of my on my to do list to pop that in and take a look at it, but I just can't, haven't had time yet. But um, oh, and then this copy of V2R, which may actually be a fun, something fun to actually pop in and play that because it's a little more. So that could be really cool. Um, but. That's a PSVR. I said right now for niche gamers, it is. There's not a ton out there right now, but the content I think will eventually come. Um, if you're on the fence and you're thinking about grabbing one, this like I said, this may be the time to do it. Otherwise, maybe not quite just yet. But um, keep on uh, keep keep an eye on the site. We'll see what we can do. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm sure someone else probably will pick up the PSVR and be able to do a couple of reviews here and there. And I think I think we've done at least one. I'm not as sure about that. It's been a, I said, being because I'm mainly visual novels, like sticking on a lot of that and level things that I do. But um, anyway, please have a wonderful day. Uh, have a wonderful. Be out there safe. Be safe out there for shopping for Christmas. Just because of the time it's a crazy time of year for stuff like that. And uh, take care, everyone. I'll see you next time. Jamata.